I'm Oshin Merens and we're here at InsureTech Rising where I'm joined by Cecile Venling, who's Head of Foresight at AXA. Thanks for coming, Cecile. Thank you. Cecile, what do you think is the role of blockchain in the future of insurance? Uh, first of all, I think blockchain will change the interaction with the customer. Uh, you can imagine that customer will have automated services. So for instance, if their flight is delayed, they will be automatically compensated. They will also have peer-to-peer -peer services where they can actually see the face and imagine with whom they're insured. Customer will also have proof of insurance. Imagine you are far away from home and there is an earthquake during your holidays and you will be very happy that all the proof of insurance are saved on the blockchain. Second thing, I think blockchain is going to change the way we operate inside. And uh, more specifically, I think blockchain is going to change the way we can manage fraud, for instance. And finally, blockchain is also going to change the way insurer works together and also works with the regulator. So for instance, uh, when we have obligation in know your customer, those kind of things, we can use a blockchain and share some keys with the regulators. So as you see, blockchain will change for the customer, for us as insurer, but also how we interact in an ecosystem of actors sharing a blockchain. Mm -hmm. Sounds like there's a lot of potential, but is blockchain's uh, adoption inevitable? Blockchain adoption is not so easy uh, for many reasons. First of all, there is a legacy. You know, we have all IT systems and there are many things that you could do with something else than a blockchain. Second of all, there is a lot of uncertainty on the regulation. So you don't know what regulators will do. There is a lot of things going on in the UK with the sandbox approach, but what is going to happen in France? What's going to happen in Germany or beyond? So this is a lot of uncertainty. And finally, I think, it's not the hype anymore after the DAO has been hacked and there are lots of questions of can we actually do smart contracts with the rule of code or do we need rule of law as a guarantee and this is a kind of question that we face now after this big hype of the blockchain. Thank you Cecile.